Welcome to the Automation Technologies RS Logics 500 training series. This is Russell White and I'll be leading you through some short examples on programming in this platform. That's a very simple implementation of this instruction and it doesn't really make a whole lot of sense like I mentioned earlier. So let's uh, maybe go back offline change it a little bit. Now I'm having to go offline to make these changes because I'm using what's called emulate which is a way to emulate and, and it's, it's not a real processor it's out there but it gives me the capability to act and do a lot of these actions like, uh, like I'm really online with a real processor. So if I go in here and uh, whoops all I need to do I think is changes. Let's change it. Uh, I know that this particular card that we're pretending that we have can be set up to from to receive or send a signal to us 4,000 to 20,000 and what that does is that correlates with a real uh, device that might be out in the field a, a transmitter that's sending 4 milliamps to 20 milliamps to our processor now let's say for example that that is a uh, pressure signal or a temperature signal or something that's a real world information so um, uh, let's we can just say we'll still scale it from zero to 200 and uh, let's go back we'll go ahead and check this out everything likes that and we will then go ahead and save it and then we'll download it down to the processor it's wanting me to save it again and then let's go ahead and put it in run mode and let's see how this works. So, see right now we have negative 50. Since our we've got a zero coming in, that tells us that something's wrong out there. We really shouldn't ever have a zero. That's one of the reasons that these transmitters actually give us a lower signal of, say, 4 milliamps instead of 0 milliamps. Uh, that kind of gives us an indication that, oops, that's, that's under where we should be. Maybe a wire's loose or maybe something's wrong. So, let's go ahead and uh, we'll put 4,000 in here and that's what it's expecting as our zero so that's giving us our scaled minimum of zero now if I put 20,000 in here there's our maximum range 20,000 so that scales our output to our maximum range and you see 20,000 you see a 200 rather here alright so now the middle of the range here is not going to be 10,000 since we're starting at 4,000 but it's going to be 12,000. That's 20,000. You have to subtract the 4,000 and divide it by 2 and and then add back your 4. How's that for fun? Um, that will get back into the some of the math um, with that. We'll go ahead and put just the 12,000. You have to trust me right now. We'll get into that a little later. And so now you see we're at the middle of our range. It's easier to see on the on this side. So 100 is the middle and that is a more realistic scaling operation you can see that you can get into some fairly complex um, scaling um, without having to do a whole lot of fancy calculations or fancy instructions you just use this one SCP instruction and it uh, takes it from there Well, this is where I'm going to go ahead and stop this particular video right now. Uh, I want to go ahead and get this posted so that I can at least have a have somewhat of an answer for a question that was asked on uh, YouTube. I'm going to go ahead and I will finish this video. I really think uh, you have to get into the math and you have to understand how this scaling works to be able to use it in a wide variety of instances. So I will uh, complete this video and go into uh, some more details. I'll will probably just put that on the website at www.automationnc.com that's the Automation Technologies of North Carolina website and uh, check out there and, and you will find that our complete videos will always be located there and I try to put as many as I can as much as I can on YouTube also thanks for listening and I hope you've enjoyed this and I hope it's helpful